Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm missing today. I did not know that the travel restrictions had been changed um, while we were down in Florida. So I really had meant to be here to, uh, this week for week 11. Um, but thankfully, Allie has stepped in. So um, but I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a video for the week 11 new grammar. It's just some fun things that you can use at home um, to help your little guys remember all this stuff. Um, so for, I'm not going to go over the math because the math, um, is skip counting the cubes. And I think you can just stick with the song that they provide. I'm going to give Allie, um, the template for doing hopscotch where you take a little token and go to each number in a pattern, um, as you sing the song, if she would like to use that. Um, you could also, um, stomp your feet or clap at home or just use like a musical instrument to kind of go along to the beat while you sing it. Okay, so for Latin pronouns and pronoun rules, it's kind of to a Latin, or not a Latin, um, a Russian tune. Um, and so we're going to sing sing the song, and then we're going to clap together as a class. Um, so it goes, Latin nouns and pronouns have different endings called declensions. Latin nouns and pronouns have different endings called declensions. So after they have um, kind of gotten into the beat, you can just be like, Latin nouns and pronouns have different endings called declensions. Okay, I, did, I used a lot of songs this week. I was having a hard time finding hand motions for anything. So I apologize if you don't like the songs. Feel free to just not use them and find a different way. Um, so next for science, um, what is the endocrine system? And there is a little song that goes with this. I was really trying hard to figure out hand motions and I just could not make it work. Um, so we're just going to sing a song to go with it. Um, what is the endocrine system? The endocrine system consists of glands and organs that use hormones to send messages through the bloodstream to the rest of the body. Um, I guess I'll do it. One, well, never mind. Uh, well, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, the endocrine system consists of glands and organs that use hormones to send messages through the bloodstream to the rest of the body. Um, so I kind of like to usually walk them through how to say these really hard words they've never tried to say before uh, a couple times, and then kind of incorporate the song after they've learned how just to say the words, and that'll help them to remember um, everything. So then um, English, it's the irregular verb to set, and it's going to be to the tune of do your ears hang low. And in class, if you would like to, you can kind of do the hand motions like, you know, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? You can kind of do some hand motions to that if you'd like. Um, so it goes to set, 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 setting, set, to set, 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 setting, set. Two set, set, sets, set, setting, set. English irregular verb to set. Okay, moving on. I did come up with some um, hand motions to go along with the timeline for this week, if you guys find those helpful. Um, let me see if I can prop up my phone somewhere. Um, okay, I think that will work. Okay, so for Norman Conquest and Feudalism in Europe, we're going to say Norman Conquest and Feudalism in Europe. So Norman Conquest, it's like you're putting your stake in the ground, you've conquested it. So Norman Conquest and then Feudalism in Europe, because feudalism was very, like, it was very much like a caste system where you had royalty at the top and you had serfs at the bottom. So we're going to say Feudalism in Europe. This is like a caste system. Um, the Crusades. So the word crusade means cross bearer. So we're just gonna make a cross with our hands. So the Crusades. 
and then for Z Zimbabwe and early Mali in Africa, um, both of those um, were highly influenced by the access of gold that they had. Um, so we're just going to go like this because gold is very expensive. Um, Aztecs of Mesoamerica. So they had very fancy clothes um, and lots of feathers on the head. So we're going to go like this, like we have feathers on our head. Um, so Aztecs of Mesoamerica. Um, Francis of Assisi and Thomas Aquinas, they were both very wealthy people who ended up giving up everything to serve others and they were sort of um, monks basically. So we're going to say Francis of Assisi and Thomas Aquinas. J Japan's shoguns. Um, so this is a sign of respect in Japan um, during this period. So it's just like bowing. So we're just going to go Japan's shoguns. So we're going to bow to each other. Japan's shoguns. Um, and then Incas of South America. Um, oh yeah, they worshiped the sun. So what we're gonna say is Incas of South, and we're gonna go like this, make a sun, and we're gonna say Incas of South America. So to do put it all together, it's Norman Conquest and feudalism in Europe, the Crusades, Zimbabwe, and early Mali in Africa, Aztecs of Mesoamerica, Francis of Assisi and Thomas Aquinas, Japan's shoguns, Incas of South America. Okay, moving on to history. Um, I have, we're going to do the normal um, CC song that's on the app or on the CD, and I have some hand motions to go along with it. Week 10. Wait, that's week 10. Week 10. Tell me. Hold on. Let me turn up the volume a bit, too. Week 11. Tell me about the Civil War. In 1861, the Civil War began when President Abraham Lincoln went to war with the southern states that had seceded from the Union. <laughs> 1861, the Civil War began when President Abraham Lincoln went to war with the Southern states that had seceded from the Union. 1861, the Civil War began when President Abraham Lincoln went to war with the Southern states that had seceded. The so obviously Civil War, like you're a soldier, President Abraham Lincoln, he had a very tall hat, everyone knows him by this, so we're just going to go like this, like his tall hat, and Southern, like down, Southern states, succeeded, like, eh, they're out, uh, succeeded from the Union, so that's that, and then the last one to go over is the geography, and we're going to be using the, um, tune of she'll be coming around the mountain for all of the mountains so not just this week but all the weeks to come where we have mountains that we're going to learn um so let me see if i can turn my phone around so the tune is um u.s northern appalachian mountains white mountains green mountains adirondack mountains allegheny mountains u.s northern appalachian mountains uh so um i would suggest um because if you look on the map all of these mountain ranges are very close together it would be hard um to do anything but maybe in class, circle them as you sing the song and then go back and erase your circles as you sing it again. Um, you can use the dry erase markers that are in um, like uh, all of the student supplies, um, but you can see on the map how close those mountain ranges are to one another. Um, but I would just sing the song and have them either point to the area or maybe circle the area where those mountains are. I'll sing the song one more time. Um, U.S. Northern Appalachian Mountains, White Mountains, Green Mountains, Adirondack Mountains, Allegheny Mountains, U.S. Northern Appalachian Mountains. Okay, I will miss you guys, but hopefully we will see you for week 12 when we assemble our bodies.